Guys, we have a special treat for you today. We have looked through the yellow pages. We have scoured Google and Yahoo to find the number one brewer in this town. His name is Mike Stone! Woo! Round of applause! And let me tell you, that's what happens when you list yourself literally as number one brewer. <laughs> we actually found him on Craigslist, guys. <laughs> Crazy. It's called Backyard Brewing in Dickinson, Texas. Uh, Backyard Brewing. great beer. What? Um, yeah, so guys, uh, Mike is going to come in and add some great insight. He has so many more years of experience than me and Bl uh, Blair combined. Uh, so it's great to have a rock star celebrity. And it's great because his name is Mike Star. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah! Yeah. 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 So, okay. uh, guys, um, I guess we're just drinking beer right now. So, we're going to just talk for a second to get the, uh, the film. The juice is flowing. The juice is flowing. Do you know where the, the, the controller is? Uh, Dost thou know where thy controller is? Huzzah! Next to thy carton of eggs that is empty. See, there we go. So this is what's called a sound check. I'm going to call it T-roll because I am the best. Um, no, B-roll because I am the best. Okay, well, uh -huh. she's going to say this, guys. Welcome to Texas Beer Review. Yeah! We're going Texas style, baby. <laughs> Shots are fired. People die. Yeah. Animals were not harmed in the production of this video, but people were. And mm. I think some people might be okay with that, and that is shocking. Um, all right, guys, anyways, we are so happy to be back here for our second beer review. Uh, we have a great crew, great uh, crowd of people that are continually backing us, and we are actually picking these beers based on our first comment from... My old boss, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle, for commenting. You were the first one uh, we called out, and you responded. So we have picked four Texas beers that we will review today. And uh, you wanna you wanna tell the people, Blair, what we got? All right. So first one, Martin House. Um, most people are kind of familiar if you're from Texas with Martin House. This one is called Snozberries. It's a fruited sour with pineapples, cherries, and oranges. Um, you know, they're, they specialize in sours, so I'm not really expecting it to be bad or anything, but we'll see how it goes. Can you tell me where Schnozberry came from? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And then who who seconded? Seconded. Who, <laughs> se who's, who seconded Super that? Super Troopers! Oh, yeah. All right. There's Grandpa getting some schnoz in his eyes. This one's for Michelle. Uh, Stetsy Blueberry Lager. This one's fabulous. Also one of my favorites. Um, are they from? Are they out in Fredericksburg? This is in That's Love Lady, at. Texas. Love Lady. I love me love. some ladies. And then we got uh, Blue Owl Brewing. Uh, this is called Teeny Hopper. Ooh. It's a Juicy Sour Session IPA with uh, grapefruit. Juicy and this Sour is from Session. Say that ten times fast. Austin, Texas. Where? Austin, Texas. Is that in California? <laughs> then we got a good old H-Town Brewery, uh, Buffalo Bayou. This is their peanut butter wake and bake. It's a perky blonde with coffee and peanut butter. Which one do you want to start with? Um, Mike, do you mind cutting the film real quick? Okay. Have you seen um, Will Ferrell's movie with... Uh... Will Ferrell's movie. That's very specific. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I like being specific. I don't know if you saw my shirt. I'm wearing... <laughs> yeah, you guys see that? Oh, yeah. If you're not first, you're last. Hear that? Hear that, California? If you're not first, you're last. All right. Guys, our first beer up on the pedestal is Stetsy Blueberry Lager. Correct? One of my faves. Uh, this is a 5.7 ABV, uh, just so y'all know. So are you going to pour us some beer or what? I am. I am. Glasses up. All right. We're going to dive right in. This beer might have been skunked. It is not. This is always delicious. Always one of my favorites. Oh. So, 
as soon as the beer hits your palate, fresh Texas blueberries mm. in gargantuan amounts. Just picture these blueberries falling from the sky and you're getting buried. That's what happens when you drink this beer. Uh, the body is, I would say, what, a medium body? Yeah, I mean, it's perfect for a lager. Um, it's not too heavy. Uh, it's refreshing. You know, it's it's perfect. Now that the weather is warming up and everything, it's perfect for being outside when it's really hot. So you want something a little bit fruity, not so malty and heavy. This is a good one. If you don't want, like, an IPA or a blonde, something too light, this is perfect. A good medium. <laughs> but guys, yeah, this, um, f for Texas beer, you have to remember, we, we Texans are extremely proud, and I want everyone to shout out, I love Texas on, on the count of I three. love Texas! Oh. Blair missed the count Sorry. Of this is one of my favorite beers, so I have to give it five, because it's one of my favorites. You don't have to agree with me, but you would be I wrong. Will, I will not agree with you. So it's, it's okay to be wrong. 4.99 stars for me. <laughs> <laughs> and how many stars from Blair? Ten! Ten stars. Ten out of five. An average of 4.999999 stars from both of us. Love Lady Texas. Guys, this beer is going to be the perfect addition to any beach, picnic, outdoor expedition. Barbecue! Any expedition or barbecue that you want to have with your friends, your team, the crew, the squad, people going hard in the paint again. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Not what, again. Whatever the kids are saying these days. The kids say a lot of stuff these The kids text a lot of stuff these kids days. Kids say the darndest things. They do. So no. guys, have a blueberry blonde. No. Just kidding. This is the lager. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a blueberry lager and make sure you save one for me. That's a wrap. All right. Are we filming? We are filming. I'll turn it again. Am I Ron Burgundy? This is our next beer, um, but for this next beer, we are going to bring in a, a special guest. He's a rock star. He's our friend Mike. This is our Juicy Sour Session IPA uh, with grapefruit. It's from Blue Owl Brewing. Slow down there, Tiger. The people need to hear it again. It's our, our Juicy Session Sour. No, Juicy Session. Yeah, Sour IPA. With grapefruit. Maybe she does need to say it fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Called Teeny Hopper. Um, like Teeny Bopper. I don't know. Um, okay, all right, all right. And they're, they're out of Austin, Texas. Keep Austin weird. Yeah, that is it. That is look, it. See, you said she, earlier she couldn't pour beers, and here she is pouring three perfect pours. Because <sighs> my carb was set too high. Yeah. You guys ever carb too high? I have a video. There we go. You're Click welcome. this link right here, so and you can watch how I under carb. Just kidding. I burp. I burp my beer. So it's a grapefruit session sour IPA by Blue oh, wow. Owl. Blue Owl. Yes, Ooh. I like this actually. That's different, but it's good. A lot of the sour IPAs I've had, they've either tasted just straight sour or straight IPA. They haven't had a good balance. Hmm. This one's actually pretty decent. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm okay with it. It's actually, it feels kind of close to a New England. What is it? Yeah. What is the ABV on this? Four point seven. Okay, yeah. So it's, oh, a good, oh, 4 .0, 4 .0. it's a good session at sitting at 4.0 ABV. Uh, you can drink quite a few of these if you're on the beach or something by the pool yeah. and uh, not have to be carried home. Not have to be carried home. Not have to be carried home. Which is always it's not, a plus. It's oh. not overpowering. It's subtle. It, you can definitely taste the sourness to the on the back end, but there's not a lot of hoppiness. Uh, it's just a nice, easy sipping drink, Mike. What so do you it, think? Well, so it says sour mashed, so it's got me thinking um, either if it was kettle soured or if it was acid malt. Mm. Like, so that's a that's kettle a soured thing. or acid malt. Acid malt. Acid malt. Yeah. Can you explain the differences real quick for our viewers? Yeah, of course. Okay, so so kettle souring, what you do is you you make your mash and then you get your wort into your your uh, your boil kettle. And then you sour it. You throw in your your bacteria that does your sour. Is that the lactobacillus? Lactobacillus or, or several other strains that can okay. do it. Lactobacillus is one of the more common ones. You can actually use yogurt, other kind of cool stuff like so that. So y'all get your sour flavor from bacteria, just so you know. Damn just so you know. flavors. Or, or, so you let that sit there. Or you can use uh, sour malt, which hmm. is uh, malt that has been treated with lactic acid. So here's a really Lactic. fun fault. 
So, or fun, well, fun fact. Um, <laughs> this is fun a fun fault. fault. Um, <laughs> so the German purity laws restrict things to water, malt, yeast, and hops, which preclude things like adding acids to your beer. Well, some beers, like the Goza style, require acid acidity to make the beer. Correct. So they added acid to the malt, which makes mm. it legal under the purity laws. So basically, instead that. of adding acid in the second part of the brewing process, we're adding acid to the first part, correct? Yeah. Yes. yes, exactly. Yeah. The schnozberries yeah. taste like schnozberries. Oh, yeah. We're so not we're even at the schnozberries yeah. So yeah. You're, yeah, you're essentially tanking, tanking your pH. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. You're tanking your pH before we hit the boil, which is pretty cool. Mm. You know what, guys? I, I We have an encyclopedia of information right here, yeah. so... Take it all in, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Look, look, I'm not a professional brewer for nothing, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that a couple more times. Yeah, yeah we, we, we did the review for Jesus. this one. It's the next one. Like fast. Oh, you're supposed to... Damn. That was quick. Mm -hmm. It's a rat. Like, really pretty? Yeah. Like, the sentient embodiment of brewing. Yeah. down here in Dickinson, right? Dickinson, Texas, yes. It's in Dickinson, Dickinson Texas. Texas. Yes. It's called Backyard Brewing. He makes phenomenal beers. He has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to beer and brewing. And so we are very excited to have him here today and <laughs> reviewing these beers with us. So I hope you all enjoy too. I wish I had some sunglasses. Now I was like, man, well, oh, there, there we go. It's like, you can't put on sunglasses. I'm like, where are my sunglasses? There we go. Oh my God. See, the great thing about these is they make my five hit. Oh, they, 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 they make it nice. They, a nice they four. accentuate. <laughs> All right, I want to take pride in a little wax on the top there, just right there. Wax on, there. wax off. Guys, if you haven't watched Cobra Kai on Netflix, watch it. And I do not get paid to say this, but no, you actually, watch yeah, it. Yeah, please do that. It's really good. 